How's it going everybody? Nuclear one here, and I'm back with another video, and this time it's another cassette tape haul. And as you can see, I got a bunch of them. And these I got in various places, um, mostly from a small store in my city, and from a vendor who shows up once every two weeks in my city, and wanders around the country usually. And uh, I caught him once in Jerusalem and once in my own city. And I got a bunch of stuff from him. So, without further ado, let's begin. The first two cassettes I'll show you are the ones I got from the small store I found in my city. Now, this is the best of the doors. You can see here, it's got all the best hits. And the second tape I got from him was... 20 Greatest Beatles hits. I know there's a big line, that big plastic thing in the middle, but you know, if you can read it, then good for you. I charge a little bit too much for these two that I'm usually comfortable with paying for on cassettes, but it was worth it, in my opinion. Now this I got from, I think, the vendor. The various artists. You can see all the types of songs we have here. Now usually I like to get these collection tapes because you tend to find a lot of different songs that like maybe a lot of different singles I would say like that I wouldn't maybe go and buy the whole album but I would like to have like the actual song. So these collection tapes are usually very good. I got another Queen's Greatest Hits. The other one I have doesn't have Radio Gaga. Now, the fact that I have that it makes me pretty happy because I do like Radio Gaga. I think a lot of people don't actually enjoy it. Now, this is Yudit Ravitz, another Israeli artist coming from love. Oh, wouldn't you know, the track listing is also in English. So, you know, have a read if you'd like. I got Aerosmith Get a Grip. I heard a lot of people don't like this one, but I actually kind of enjoy it. I think it's a pretty solid album. Shut Up and Dance, I kind of like. Also, Living on the Edge, I heard. I, I, not that I heard, I heard it, and it's pretty good. So, Get a Grip. Those are three pretty good songs off that album. I think this is like a bootleg Elton John tape. I'm not sure. I can show you just because of how the tape inside looks. I bought it anyways. I mean, check this out. This doesn't look like an original tape, although it has a plastic thing on top that usually cassette albums used to have. I don't know why I opened it. I could have showed you the back, but I think this is like a bootleg thing of Elton John songs, but they are pretty good still, and the quality's you know, great, so figured why not. Here's a sunny afternoon, another cassette collection thing. See if you can see the back of that. It's got the birds. It's got, I think if I'm correct, oh, the mamas and the papas. I think it should also have the kinks. Not sure. It says here on the top. Yeah, it's got the kinks, the mamas and the papas, loving spoonful. Because, yeah, summer classics, as they say, I guess. It says so, yeah, right here. So that's in a really nice collection. I kind of enjoy that. Here's another one I got, Saturday Night Fever, the Bee Gees, La Febre de Sabato Sera. I think this was made in Italy, if I'm correct. Also has all the pretty good songs of theirs. I think you can't really see it from there, but it's got the, it says so on the tape. It's got some pretty good stuff. This is Golden Hits by Hava Alberstein. Yeah, she's another Israeli artist. I kind of enjoy her. If you can read Hebrew, then this is the track listing. Now, here's somebody I really like. Um, this is Hemi Rudner. Or, yeah, Hemi Rudner and the uh, uh, Disciples of Blues, I think that's what they call it. And the album's called Redemption. He was part of another band that I really like called Where's the Kid or A Fohayelid. Uh, depending on how you search for it on Google. 
they made some excellent 90s rock in Israel. And this is also a pretty good band. They usually did a bunch of covers, if I'm correct. So I was really happy to find that. So as you can see, that was a track listing. If you can read Hebrew, good for you. Um, I may, I'll do a CD like uh, collection thing, and then I'll point out which one is uh, Hemi Rudner's old band. This is another Hava Alberstein. This is London. That's the name of that album. It's Chrome Tape. Another track listing. Well, this is another collection thing. This is One More Night. You can see there's a lot of good artists here, like the Eagles, Foreigner, and the Crenshaw, Doobie Brothers. Now, the tape itself kind of looks weird. Turbo tape. I don't know what that's about. Oh, sorry. Flip that upside down. It's got Phil Collins, Alice Cooper, Robert Plant. I mean, this is an excellent tape. Mm hmm. Yeah, a lot of good stuff. But the final tape I have here is. I have a feeling I showed it in the last video, but I guess why not? Top Hits 95. A couple of good songs off here. There you go. I think this is like a pretty popular thing, Top Hits. I know they have this on CD as well, if I'm not mistaken. Now this is all of my tapes that I found. And as you guys can probably see, this is my little hi-fi setup. Now I don't have a lot of room on my desk. My uh, record player is like behind that and my receiver is like under the record player. But this I had to move to my desk. And I'll give you a little explanation on that in another video. But those are all the tapes. Now, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.